It has been slippery conditions. The ladies did get a siding lap, and we are set to go racing here. The women's final. Oh, wow. oh Lia Sons with a bit of a jump on Geiger, but it looks like it's going to be Tara Geiger to the front aboard the JCR Honda. She's been working with Johnny Campbell and Eric Searton on her bike build. And she has a battle on her hands with Laya Sons. Laya, of course, not here last year. She, last year, you want to hear something huge. She was a top 10 finisher at the Dakar Rally out of 168 motorcycles. Wow, incredible. And just look at Laya. She's starting to pull away already. She really just turned on the heat a little too hard right at the start and went wide in that muddy, that muddy patch. Yeah, you can see the track's getting better for sure. Uh, she's trying to do her best to pull away from Geiger because Geiger's awesome in these double jumps. See, now there's the difference. Jeremy's talking about it. She's doing the doubles. Sons is not on the 44, but here's the thing. Sons very rarely makes a mistake. And over the last couple years, you've seen great riding out of Geiger. The question is, has she tamed it down enough to not make that mistake and still do all those double jumps? Now, she looks very confident, sounds very confident when you talk to her, and she's very well set up for this race. And we'll see if those doubles make the difference. As we take a look back, this is Maria Forsberg, ninth position right now on the 411. Not doing too bad. She had to start second row. She had a uh, fall in her qualifying, so she ended up stalling the bike having a problem obviously very slow time and unfortunately she had to start from the back so if she can get back up front she's going to be very satisfied with this race she's had a lot of time off the bike of course and her daughter london you saw the piece with them and just really incredible uh, being a mom and a racer i can talk about it firsthand my wife does the same thing and it's just it's really incredible the commitment that it takes to do both as we look at laya doing the singles here comes geiger doing the double she's gonna yeah. pass for the lead I like, Tara is actually, she's, she's kind of being patient right now. She knows that she's got the speed in that more moto part of the course. And she, <laughs> exactly. she bided her time and that was great. I'm gonna call this, they're gonna be yo-yoing back and forth. Tara's got it on the jumping. Laya's got it on the technical sections. If Tara can keep it together with the rock, she, she has a shot at pulling away here because you can see in the moto part, she gets a little gap. Well, the difference here in the rocks Laya Sands is five inches taller than Tara Geiger. And, and, so she's, she, and she's being a bit of a bully here, trying to go to the inside, but Tara, oh, oh, oh. the ladies mixing it up. Oh, a little moto going on here. That's one thing that I would say about Laya, although she has been great in all of her races, she hasn't been really aggressive at times. Yes, we've seen some aggression from her, but at times we've seen other riders be able to take advantage of her when it comes to aggression, and that's something we've are, are not uh, surprised to see from Geiger being aggressive with her moto skills. And here she comes on those doubles again. It really is two different sets of skills from these women and gets her again. It is, oh. you're, you're right. Woo. It is going to be a yo-yo all the way through. And here, Geiger sliding around a little bit. Very deliberate is Sans. Now, as you said, the difference, five inches, if I'm not mistaken, in height. And that's definitely very important with the, the long legs. And I had lunch with Laya the other day, and she was so calm and cool. She was out sightseeing and just kind of having fun. And, and uh, you know, just her personality is very bubbly. But at the same time, she's very focused but doesn't look stressed at all. So Geiger's strategy, in my mind, would be, look, let Laya get the lead. Let me stay as close as I can. We'll get to the jumps. I'll try and pass her every lap. And this thing's going to go back and forth. But you have to stay patient. So if, if Tara makes a mistake and gets this gap any further and can't use those doubles to her advantage, then we're going to see Laya pull away. 2013 was the last time Laya had the gold medal. Of course, we talked about it. She wasn't in Austin last year. A uh, new ride. She's a factory KTM rider. She'll be riding in Dakar for the team. And uh, she's very excited about that. Uh, I should say that uh, she's had the opportunity over the last year to ride the bikes and just um, very, very stoked on the position she's in. And she really shocked a lot of people. I mean, she's an amazing dirt bike rider, but to finish in the top 10 at Dakar is, is massive. Well, you can tell she's a skilled dirt bike rider for sure. Handle this course with ease. She's especially good in the rocks. You can tell she got that leg pivot down. 
She's looking for that gold medal, and here she's going to come up on a lapper. She's got to be careful. And this could be the problem when they come up on the lappers in the technical sections, when Laya can't just, you know, speed away from Tara, because on the other side of those massive jumps, that's Tara's territory. All of the doubles that she can catch up to Laya Sands. But as soon as they come on the back here, before the checkered flag, that's where Laya has the advantage. The white flag is out. The number 44 KTM Mountain Rider, this is Laya Sands. She has held three gold medals before. Can't she do it again? Here comes Geiger, once again, looking for the run in the double section. Is she close enough to make another pass? Don't forget, Laya Specialty, the rock still coming up. And no, Geiger is not able to make it happen in those double jump sections. Uh, looked like she was trying to square it off in the corner a little bit. She's gonna get close. I'm hoping she can get close, maybe make a move on her, but gap's looking a little big right now. A shout out, of course, Martinez, last year's gold medalist running in the bronze medal position right now, but right now it's been all Sons and of course Geiger, but Sons with a clear advantage right now. Uh oh. Oh, oh this chaos is what we were is talking about. Geiger, oh, Geiger batches back right up. Oh man, the <laughs> leaders are right there together. Now Geiger is, is stuck. And looks like we had a rider tumble there just a bit. Was that was that Tara Geiger? That uh, may have been Tara going down in the rock section. She's up and going. But it's gonna be Liasons with the gold medal. Bringing it at home. That is her fourth gold. Congratulations to her, her new factory team, and a huge effort all the oh, way around. Huge congratulations to Tara Geiger. Gave Laya a run for her money all the way to the end there. Awesome, awesome race. Geiger there and, doing a good job. And I'm going to say that Geiger, who has been amazing riding over the years, 